Okay, so hi everyone. Uh, welcome to the Surface Anatomy uh, th this week. And I, I wanted to maybe just refresh your anatomy knowledge around the ligaments that get sprained. By far the most common ankle sprain is where we, we trip off or you know, our foot goes out to the side, coming off a step or coming up, getting off a bike or whatever. Um, the ligaments here are, are, are pretty, pretty easy to see and pretty easy to palpate, but I thought I'd remind ourselves of them. And, um, and then later on in other future videos, we might think about the kind of massage work that we can do to help recovery here. Um, so I'm gonna draw on them. So we've got the meliolus here, this uh, the bottom of the tibular bone as it comes down the outside of the, the leg. Uh, interestingly, the ligaments are always named after the bones that they join onto. So we've got the tibula and we've got the talus bone that sits underneath here. So almost in the classroom, I describe it as a, a bit of a, uh, it looks like a snail because it rocks under the foot, and uh, allows that dorsiflexion and plantiflexion to occur. So the first ligament sits, it's the anterior one here, and it sits um, over that joining between that talus bone and the, uh, uh, the fibula bone here, and that's what it's called. The middle one sits right underneath and joins onto the calcaneus, or heel bone, that sits over the back here. And then the third one comes at the back, and it sits um, again from the on the talus bone, but um, joins onto this um, this bone, the tibular bone at the top. And depending on how we get sprained, you know, you can see quite easily how that those uh, that ligament gets over over sprain. We've got that one, two, and three ligament damage with ligaments. Uh, you know, just a partial where you can pretty well walk it off. A grade three where there is some swelling uh, can last a few days, but you don't need that kind of bracing. And then obviously a three, which is the worst, which is probably a foot cast or something where you know the whole foot has lost its stability. I want to bring in often when you do go over on a sprain, blood pools at the bottom of here, and you get often the bruising and swelling, and you can get a blood line that goes across the bottom. Now this is often caused by the muscles that run from the outside, so we've got the head of the fibula, and we've got these perineals that run down the side of the leg. They come out underneath and drop down under the foot. Now these perineals, uh, they are important stabilising muscles for our leg and um, allow us to uh, either our foot, so we can look under our small toe and, uh, and stabilise that move. When we go over on a really nasty sprain, this muscle and this tendon gets ripped and bleeds. And hence, the bleeding of these muscles causes this sort of gravity drop of the blood that sits over the bottom of the foot. So, there you go. There's an introduction to the ligaments that get damaged on the foot. And when we do that lateral sprain. And in later videos, we'll talk about the kind of massage and how, how we can really uh, do some work on um, stabilising and strengthening these ligaments. Okay, thank you.